Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about PBIT format. What it is, when to use it. PBIT stands for Power BI Template File and it is used to create a templates for your organization so that uh, other audience can able to create. That is the whole point of creating a PBIT file. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create it and what is the purpose of it? What are the benefits you're going to get once you start using it? Let's try to understand as part of this video. This channel contains free content that covers uh, MSBI, Power BI, Fundamentals of Azure and SQL as well. Please utilize this free content. Share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Now, let's see our uh, one of our dashboard or the report, right? That I have created and we are defining some standards that can be part of data governance or report governance or whatever it is you are defining some standards for your reports across the organization and you are defining certain rules here like your dashboard should have um, uh, headers here and the icons over at the top and also it should contain the definition this is the rule so instead of ask everyone to start creating the report, they find their own templates or I mean follow the such a different standards. You are defining the standards for your organization. And then once you share this to uh, any uh, panels, let's say you are defining standards for the sales team. Now this is the sales template. How you can share? Uh, this is basically right now it's the sales uh, what is the dashboard sales dashboard you can see two four six two four four six kb and this is stored as a uh, what is that properties pbix file that is a typical file now i want to save this as a template uh, so that this can be shared to the sales department so that they can share while they start creating a new reports they will follow this templates now there are two ways you can save it as a template you can see here drop down and you can use pbit so that this will be stored uh, under uh, pbit here so i will say sales dashboard template right so i'm saving it here template for sales executive okay uh, just now i saved that's why uh, it appeared again now you can see uh, the huge difference here this particular file pbix file uh, contains the 246 2.38 mb that is very minimal it's a very less data so pbix file contains uh, the schema as well as your report structure as well as data but whereas the template file doesn't hold any data that is why it is very less so now we have this template file this template will be shared to wide audience let me try to close this uh, files and then i can um, open the um, the template file now this is another file uh, i want to create but let's stick to the first example the sales dashboard for that we've created a template let me try to open this so if you see here, based on the way you designed, sometimes it will prompt for some credential to authenticate because it doesn't hold any data. Once the user um, starts uh, opening the file, right, it will prompt you for uh, access to the uh, credential, meaning like this particular file trying to connect to the, some source system. Let's, let's uh, take an example as SQL Server. So it will ask uh, for the credential as well. So, so template file, once they created, you need to have the user who is going to use uh, should also have to have access to this database as well. Then only it will open. I think there is some issue here. Let me take the server name from here. there you go so it will take a while so that's it so once it is open for them uh, it will open in a new file right so this is for the end user who uh, start using the 
template let's wait for a minute there you go now uh, whatever template file we have shared when the user opens it will prompt uh, them with the data now you can see it is not opening the template file it opened the new file so if they want they can save along with this data so in this way you can easily share your uh, report templates so all members in your organization you can have a similar templated reports if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset.